Hello Team Libra, it's Caroline with Empire 333. I hope you're all well and safe. This is your Love Tarot reading. I will pick up on any other messages besides love and romance if spirit feels like you need it at this time. So let's get into your energies, then we'll be getting into whoever is on your mind, Libra. Okay, wow, all right. King of Swords. What? Wow. Okay. What's going on? Libra, you're finding it hard to balance yourself in regards to a situation, in regards to a love situation here. Okay. Wow. And bottom. Okay. Now, this is, what this is telling me is this is somebody who... you have already established a history with or you want to um, establish a life with because this is a ten of pentacles here okay now this is telling me that it's taking a lot of um your how should i say this your men your okay thank you spirit <laughs> there is a certain mentality that you have in regards to what how to create this ten of pentacles how to stabilize your future with someone okay but for some reason it's taking a lot of parts of your ego and your insecurities okay because your insecurities are of the ego right and it's taking you a lot of um, patience it's taking you a lot of strength to uh, manifest this into your reality okay now for those of you who are like oh I've been with someone I'm married I'm this I'm that whatever this could be um, like a fork in the road is what I'm hearing right and also this could be someone who you have um, you're dating Libra or you're you have a connection with some type of a connection and you don't know how to get this off the ground okay in order to manifest your ten of Pentacles stability um, I keep hearing moderation okay so I don't know what this has to do with um, specifically but this is about you um wanting to move on from a situation and i feel like it's because you don't see whatever you're manifesting into your reality right now okay and some of you um it's like balancing your emotional and your um your mental like your clarity okay so you might be maybe too emotional, you might be not emotional. So this is about balance and with us Libras, <laughs> balance is not easy, all right? Okay, even though they say we're the balance, we're justice and so forth, it's not easy, okay? We got um, Aries, I mean, Aries, okay, that was just a spiritual slip. We got Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, Leo energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. <clears throat> oh, wow, I'm losing my voice here. Let's see what the person on your mind thinks because um, I'm seeing a rainbow, Libra. So you might be seeing a rainbow. That is a really good omen for you, okay? Like kind of like there's a rainbow at the, what is it called? There's a pot at the end of the rainbow or something. I forgot what that saying is, but let's see what this is, okay? There's someone here that has a lot of passion for you, okay? You inspire this person. How does this person feel? The person on Libra's mind. Oh, I love this. Okay, okay, okay. So...
All right, tower. I knew that was coming. Scorpio energy. So listen, guys, this person is like they see you, Libra, as the end all be all. Okay, this person, you bring happiness into their life. You inspire them. Um, but what I feel here is that this person is not in their element towards you lately. Okay. Um, it could be that this person is consumed with other things. Okay. But this person is so attracted to you. Okay. There is like this powerful, um, magnetic urge to, uh, be with you. Okay. Um, this person though could be a workaholic. Okay. So you could be dealing with somebody who's a workaholic. They're very involved in their work. Their time is like not, it, it's their heart. It's hard for this person, whoever they are to distribute time into this connection. Okay. So what is this about? What is this tower about spirit? So I feel like this person, um, what they're doing right now, okay, whatever is going on between you that happened all of a sudden. So it could be like you both disconnected all of a sudden, something happened between you two, okay? Somehow there's some type of disconnection, like it faded, Libra, okay? Um, yeah, it faded. That's what I'm getting, faded, okay? Some of you... Um, could smoke weed or this person could smoke weed. <laughs> okay. Um, this is what I'm getting. This person, um, loves that you're confident. They love how you handle situations but the thing is, is that something got, this person because, this is so interesting. You both are so powerful that you, like, the power you have on each other is so strong that you both disconnected, okay? There is something that happened between you two. And because of this, now the, this person, whoever this is, Libra, they're so um, trying to enmesh themselves in work to not think about this. Okay. It's bothering them. And this person is scared that you are moving on from them. Okay, Libra. Let's see. Yeah, this person is scared that you, they're really worried, Libra. I'm telling you, I can't make this up, okay? I got this before it came out. They are really scared that you're moving on. Um, this person wants to connect with you and they want to like, reach some sort of compromise together, okay? And I feel like this could have to do with timing, um, like schedules, work schedules, or whatever, school schedules, whatever it is that you both are um, having issues with together, okay? And they think that you're moving on, you're no longer going to wait with them, and you're not supporting you won't support this connection anymore. I feel like some of you, you kind of just stopped giving to this person, okay? What else do we need to know? How does this person feel towards Libra? Oh, now they want to talk is what I'm hearing. They feel isolated from you, Libra, okay? Now they want to talk.
Yeah. This person could have ghosted you, Libra. <laughs> oh, wow. Virgo energy, Cancer. Okay. Yeah, this person is making a decision right now, Libra. I feel like this somehow happened to... Okay, this is what I'm getting. I'm getting so much information, Libra. It's like you think this person, I don't know, maybe they're with somebody else. You know, like they're... Libra, you have this gut feeling like, okay, this person is hiding something from me. They are not... You know, um, they're doing something else. They couldn't be so much tied into work or whatever. And this person, I feel, is just so busy with work. And it's kind of like they, they are making a decision, Libra. They feel that you are so distanced from them. And they want to get close to you. Oh, King of Pentacles. All right. He's there looking towards you. So, yeah. They want to move towards you, Libra. They want to make, make a move on you. And I want to just show you this because it's like they're looking towards you like this. Like, you know what this feels like, Libra? It feels like this person, you want something, like you want a supportive, you want the real deal. And so does this person. It's just a matter of, it could be, I just heard logistics, or it could be like schedules. Like, what is your lifestyle? What is their lifestyle? Like, it's something like that, okay? So this person wants to make it work, Libra, but they feel like you're slipping away is what I'm hearing. What do they want from Libra? What does this person want from Libra? We got Scorpio. Uh, yeah, Libra, you definitely pulled your energy back from someone. They don't want you to move away. They don't want this to be over. They know that this connection needs some type of transformation. The number 13 is significant. The number 14 is significant. And they want you and them to be both back together. Sagittarius energy, okay? Um, there's something about... Libra, you could have told this person you want all or nothing, okay? And they can't do the all or nothing is what I'm hearing. They feel you slipping away. They want you back, okay? I don't know what's going on. Um, this person just wants you to know that their feelings are real. Okay, this is the King of Cups energy. And what I'm getting here is that I don't know if this is like, you know, everybody's like, oh, the Three of Swords is the third party stuff like that. I don't believe in like just that type of third party, but regardless, Libra. This person wants to know um, how you really feel about them. Your feelings, not what you want out of the connection, how you truly feel about them. Because this person has some really deep feelings for you. And I think that they have not told you that lately. Like how they feel about you. This could also be a friend, guys. This could be a friend that it's turned into something more. Or it could be also, it's not established 
what you guys are to each other, that kind of energy, okay? This person um, wants to invest in you, okay? They know that they're taking a long time. I have to cover the world card, but they want to rush in. But it's kind of like it's not safe territory right now is what I'm hearing. It's not safe. So I don't know what's going on with you, Libra, what you did to this person or what. But they definitely want um, to heal this, okay? They want this connection to be healed. It's really causing a heaviness to them, okay? And they think that you are both fated to be together. Yeah. They know that you have a future together. Like your future is fated together, Libra. We got the Ace of Cups here. We got the Star Aquarius energy. Um, there's so many signs here. I won't get into all of them, but this person wants to come in. They want to heal whatever rift you guys had. This heavy energy between you two. There's this heaviness, right? And um, they don't want this connection to be faded. They feel like you're slipping away. Um, yeah, they can't get you off their head, okay? They can't get you out of their mind, off of your head. What am I? Ah, all right. Anything else, Spirit? Okay. Hold on. I'm going to see what Spirit wants to tell you about the situation. The Empress. Some of you want to change this connection, okay? You want this connection to transform. You don't like the way it was before. You want to create some type of abundance, this renewal um, in this connection, right? This is the birth of something new. And Spirit is saying, it has to change. It can't be like how it was in the past. Some of you are holding on to the past and it's causing, it's causing um, this stuck energy between you and this person. It's also causing some type of animosity is what I'm feeling, okay? And it's overwhelming both of you. Okay, and that's why you're uncertain, Libra. If you are, um, okay, a conversation needs to be had is what I'm hearing. Ten of Cups, yeah, see, see, you, you want the emotional fulfillment before you get the Ten of Cups, okay? You're trying to stabilize a connection that doesn't have the full emotional fulfillment, and the only way that happens is through compromise, right? Um... There is some type of a change that needs to happen in this connection, okay? This is the tower moment. There is an event that's going to happen. There is something that needs to be shaken up um, and left in the past, okay, for this to flourish with the Empress energy, okay? You might be seeing 333. 11, 11, 12, 12, 5, 5, 5. You both want this. You just don't like the setup, Libra. If the setup changes, where you just focus on the emotional fulfillment and not just the, you know, whatever happened in the past between you two, there's really good potential of this happening. But that has to happen. The tower has to happen. So change can happen. Okay? Libra, I hope that this has helped you. If it has, don't forget to give me a like. Like this video. Subscribe if you already have not. I wish you all the best. Peace out.